Agriculture Department is now working on the Implementing Rules and Regulations, or IRR, of the Rice Tarification Law. Secretary Manny Pinoel says the agency's legal team will carefully resolve contentious issues in the IRR. Marian Enriquez has more. Both the Budget Department and the NEDA have signed the Implementing Rules and Regulations, or IRR, for the Rice Tarification Law. Secretary Manny Pinol says his office received the draft IRR last week and he is bound to carefully study the document before signing it. Pinol says the department's legal team has already a number of comments about the IRR, including the 10 billion peso competitive fund for farmers. The IRR states that Pinol, being the agriculture chief, will be solely accountable for any irregularity in the disbursement of funds. Yung isang comment doon, yung uh, nakalagay na ako lang ang uh, accountable na officer do sa 10 billion. So nagreklamo ako kay presidente. Sabi ko sir, sabi ko mukhang unfair naman yata na ako lang makukulong. <laughs> sabi ko pwede ko bang isama yung ibang uh, heads na kahensya? Alam mo sagot? Ay, hindi, ikaw na lang. Kaya mo yan. So wala, eh, si presidente na kuto. So, okay sir. I will be solely accountable for uh, the disbursement and utilization of the uh, uh, RCEP funds. And because of that, I will be very, very strict about it. Even TESDA, the TESDA uh, allocation, uh, I will uh, really scrutinize. And I will make sure that uh, there is no irregularity in the disbursement of this money. Pino also says the legal team will look into the request of the National Food Authority for higher benefits. Recall that the law restructured the setup of the NFA and essentially stripped the agency of its regulatory powers. In effect, hundreds of employees are now up for retrenchment. The NFA employees uh, uh, actually expressed uh, their uh, concern over the uh, what they 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 they, they called as uh, a very low uh, uh, remuneration uh, for those employees who will be. Uh, retrenched or uh, who will be retiring. They cited the new BARM law uh, which uh, specified a higher uh, uh, retirement or uh, retrenchment benefits for employees of the former ARMM as the basis for that complaint. Ang sinasabi ng mga empleyado ng ARMM, ano uh, ng NFA, may batas na na nagsiset ng anong ano. Pwede bang yung batas na yon setting uh, so much uh, uh, benefits for uh, the ret retrenched employees or the retired employees would also apply to us because yun yung bagong batas. Eh. But Pinil says that whatever comments the DA legal department will make, he will be signing the IRR within the week. This as he dismissed issues that he is not cooperating with other agencies to come up with a final IRR. No, it's not that we are unwilling to, but we have to go through the process. Sabi ko nga kay Secretary Dominguez kagabi, I have, I'm duty bound, no? Mayroong comments yung NFA employees, I'm duty bound to uh, relay these comments to uh, NEDA and make sure that uh, their, their uh, grievance is ventilated. No? Now, whatever action uh, NEDA will take or the economic managers will take, sabihin na, na hindi, ganyan na yan, I, I, I have to sign the IRR. The IRR is expected to formulate an industry roadmap for the rice sector. The rice tariff law took effect last month. The measure allows unlimited rice importation, but importers must pay a 35% tariff for shipments from Southeast Asia. The government will collect a 50% tariff for rice imported from non-ASEAN countries. Reporting for News 5, Marian Enriquez, we are One News.